Hello everyone and welcome to the March 2018 video newsletter for ISD 181. I'm Lane Larson, Superintendent of Schools, and I want to welcome you all to spring. As we get started today, I want to remind everyone that we do not have school this Friday, March 30th, 2018. However, we will have school on Monday, April 2nd, 2018, because this is our snow makeup day from our snow day last March. In addition, a week later, we have something really exciting and fun coming forward, something that we've talked about for the past three and a half years. And that is, the Board of Education has approved a plan to move forward with comprehensive facilities for the school district. Between now and April 10th, 2018, you have an opportunity to vote on behalf of three questions. The first question being our elementary schools and our early learning. Question two addresses our secondary schools and our alternative education learning. And question three addresses uh, taking the auditorium from question two and making it larger into a regional performing arts center. Between now and April 10th, you have an opportunity to vote each day at the historic Crow Wing County Courthouse between the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. or on Saturday, April 6th, you can also vote at the courthouse and that is from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. that day. We encourage everyone to come out and vote and share with us what you believe are the next steps that the school district should take regarding the comprehensive facilities planning for ISD 181. Thank you so much for all of the support that you have shown us through this extensive process. And we know that together we are a community partnership focused on high quality education for all learners. I want to continue our video newsletter today by talking about many of the exciting activities that are going to be happening in April. As you know, the winter sports seasons are all done and we had such successful seasons. We're excited to see what's going to happen in the areas of baseball, softball, track, and golf coming this spring. Please come out and continue to support our Warrior teams. In addition, on Saturday, April 7th, we're going to be having the Brainerd High School Prom. This year's theme is Night Under the Stars. The Grand March will be held at 7, 7 p.m. at the Brainerd High School Gymnasium, followed by a dance at the Northern Pacific Center. On Monday, April 9th, we will have our regular meeting of the Board of Education at 5.30 p.m. We've changed the time because at 7 o'clock at Tornstrom Auditorium, we're going to be having our Spring Music Showcase Concert where our choir, our orchestra, and our band will be performing for the community. Please come out and support those kids. On Monday, April 16th, there will be another Board of Education meeting. This meeting will be held at 6 o'clock in the boardroom, and we will be canvassing our election from the April 10th board meeting. Also that evening will be the Fine Arts Reception, which will be held at the Brainerd High School Cafeteria between 3.30 and 9.30 p.m. I'm so excited for the following week because the Brainerd High School Theater will be putting on a musical. It's one of my favorites. It's the musical Grease. Please come to Tornstrom Auditorium on April 19th, 20th, or 21st at 7 p.m. and watch our kids in this do their musical performance to one of our fav favorite 50s musicals. In addition, on Monday, April 30th, we will be hosting the All Sports Banquet, which is such a fun and festive celebration of all of the athletics that we have in our school district. At 5.30 will be the Hall of Fame reception, which will be held in the Brainerd High School cafeteria. At 6 o'clock, the doors open and the dinner will be served at 6.30 with a great, wonderful, exciting celebration of our students beginning at 7 o'clock. I leave you today with a heartfelt and sincere thank you. Thank you for all that you do each and every day for our students, our staff, our school district, and our community. Together we truly are a community partnership focused on education, looking at the facilities that provide opportunity, innovation, and success for all learners throughout our district. As you go to the voting ballots on April 10th, 
I thank you for your commitment to our children. And know that we are focusing on providing safe and secure environments for all. That we are also focused at looking at the deferred maintenance needs, ensuring well-rounded and robust programming in all of the four A's, the academics, the arts, the athletics, and the activities. By ensuring that we have spaces that are necessary for 21st century learning and best practice instruction. Also by looking at strong career and technical education opportunities to provide the technology integration that we need and the workforce of tomorrow. And we do this together in collaboration and in partnership with one another, ensuring that the school district is putting your generous investment to the best use for our children and the future of our community. Thank you for all that you do to support Brainerd Public Schools.